The Man from U.N.C.L.E. is directed by Guy Ritchie and stars Henry Cavill and Army Hammer and is the adaptation of the classic 60s television show of the same name. Henry Cavill plays a CIA agent who has differing ideals with a KGB agent played by Army Hammer and they have to work together to stop this nuclear something or other from happening because the end of the world and it's terrible and, you know, big stuff could happen and it's bad and they have to stop it, like every movie ever. I was looking forward to seeing this movie though because I think when Guy Ritchie really nails it, he has a very unique style and one that can make a movie that you would think normally very conventional, unconventional, and I was hoping that The Man From U.N.C.L.E. would be like that. And while I don't think this is necessarily a bad movie, I didn't really find it very interesting. I found it very uneven in tone. It shifts quite often from very silly, fun spy movie, with Henry Cavill sleeping with tons of women and making jokes about Army Hammer's Russian accent, with a terrific opening action sequence that really set Henry Cavill and Army Hammer's characters at odds with one another, that was a great throwback to 1960s spy movies where they didn't take themselves too seriously. And the two leads had excellent chemistry with one another. They worked really well together. They were funny together. They played off each other extremely well. Unfortunately, it becomes very uneven when the movie tries to get a lot more serious, as well as some of the directing style of the action that completely takes on this modern day, more shaky cam effect, which you know I hate, but I understand when it can be used effectively. The issue is that the movie is trying to be also a 60s throwback, and it does a lot of that very well. But there's a lot of modern day attempts at making it very okay for today's audiences as well in some of the way the action is directed. And I think those two elements really clashed and didn't work well with one another. The major issue I had with this movie though is the story. I found it really uninteresting. It's your basic spies have to stop somebody who's an evil guy and he's got bombs and there's nothing inventive really about it and the characters were kind of bland despite the fact that they were portrayed in an entertaining way. Sometimes it would be kind of like Ocean's Eleven where you're shown something happens and you think that's how it played out then some guy comes and goes actually that's not how it happened let me revert back a few minutes and then you go in flashback form and you see what actually took place and you're like oh that's clever and it was okay that first time but then the film did it like four more times and I was like at what point is this story just gonna play out or are we gonna keep reverting to various flashbacks to tell us what actually happened? In regards to Henry Cavill, I think he was very energetic in this movie. He was very suave. I can see why some people were considering him for Bond for a while. It's probably the most energy I've seen out of him since... Yeah! As far as Army Hammer goes, I really don't understand what told him to take on another character from an adaptation of a classic TV show. Didn't really work out last time. All in all, The Man From U.N.C.L.E. is not a bad movie, I would say. It's just an incredibly uneven one. It goes from fun spy film to serious drama where Army Hammer's character has these bouts of incredible anger and you're not really sure if you're supposed to be laughing because the tone is so inconsistent. And while they work well with each other and the opening action scene was a lot of fun, every other action scene after that disappointed me and the story itself I found very bland and I was honestly a bit bored for most of the runtime of this movie. I'm going to give The Man From U.N.C.L.E. a C plus. Guys, I'll have my review for Straight Outta Compton tomorrow. I'm looking forward to seeing that movie. Thank you so much, as always, for watching. If you did see this movie, I'd like to know your thoughts on it. Also, check out my review for The Sixth Sense. It's starting my M. Night Shyamalan series leading up to The Visit. As always, guys, I appreciate your viewership. Thank you so much for watching. And if you like this, you can click right here and get stuck -manized.